Growing fear in a Florida neighborhood tonight with that giant sinkhole now widening. For much of the week, all eyes have been on the home here behind me. It looks fine above ground, but it's what's beneath that home, a giant sinkhole that claimed one family member already. It's believed to be growing larger tonight, already up to 100 feet deep. And the evening, authorities are now warning neighbors on each side of the home that they could see their homes go next. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Sefner, Florida for us tonight. Gio. David, we've just learned that rescue mission has been called off. That man swallowed up by that sinkhole simply can't be found. And tension is rising as more and more homes here are deemed dangerous. As a family mourns the fate of 37-year-old Jeff Bush, workers use this heavy machinery to test the ground surrounding the massive sinkhole. We determined that the house right next to the houses that's actually damaged is also compromised. That's right, this house and now this house are also in danger of being swallowed up by the same sinkhole that took Bush and his bedroom 100 feet underground Thursday. His body possibly lost forever. I really don't think there's any hope. They say the hole keeps getting bigger and I don't think they're gonna be able to find him. This part of Florida is known as Sinkhole Alley. Just look at how many sinkholes have been recorded here in the last 60 years. Incredibly, about 40% of the nation is prone to sinkholes. They form when water eats away at limestone underground. The land above stays intact, then comes the dramatic collapse. How rare is what we've seen here? Well, certainly you get at least dozens of sinkholes a year. But to have one occur right in the center of a home and certainly to injure and even kill somebody, is, I've never heard of that happening before. He says people usually know when a sinkhole is forming. You normally have enough time to move out of the way. And in this case, he didn't. No, strangely sudden. Perhaps the families next door are getting that life-saving warning. They were given 20 minutes to collect their belongings before abandoning their homes. Tonight, Bush's brother is left mourning but thankful so many others got out alive. I thank the Lord for not taking my daughter and my rest of my family. And the house with the sinkhole will be demolished tomorrow morning because we're told it is entirely unstable.